everyone can draw a circle around them. Now that circle can include a few, a many or a whole lot. Today's stoic meditation is on what's on your tombstone. That is, what do you want to be remembered for when you die or who you want to be remembered as when you die. We all have ambitions. We all want to accomplish something in our life. Now in the midst of all that we want to accomplish, there has to be some time when we think about what after this life. Obviously, we cannot pay a lot of attention to this particular topic that is death while we are in life because that is the most inevitable thing that will happen to us. The moment we were born, we were guaranteed to leave this beautiful new planet floating around the sun. But again, I found that of all the motivations, death is one of the best motivation that one can have. That whatever rut we are into, however worried we are, however emotionally drenched we are, there is some sort of a relief in that knowing that we are going to leave. Now there are two schools of thoughts that can emerge from this. That one is that you do not do anything and you just wait for that particular thing to happen to you. But that school of thought has a problem. And that problem is that we have already surrendered to something that we were born to challenge. And the second school of thought is that if this thing is going to be over, why am I so worried? And if this thing is going to be over, I can take more chances. And if this thing is going to be over, then I can jump into something that I feel is a threat to my own existence. Because this whole existence thing in front of what is coming, that is death, is nothing. So if it is nothing, if we can take chances that we haven't been taking for long, 